Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Titan AE. It's a movie starring Matt Damon and a few other people that you probably recognize the voices of, but as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start with the furry, there's quite a lot. It's an animated show with a lot of alien creatures that are very anthropomorphic. So, right in the beginning, you have the chef that is like a, like a bug, like a, not quite a cockroach because it's a little bit more like square, but like a beetle with like long legs. He's really funny, has a funny voice. Um, one of the main characters is a kangaroo looking thing, another one is a rat looking thing, but all anthropomorphized, so, uh, and then another one, uh, you know, Boone, uh, is a toad looking guy, so if you like anthropomorphic creatures that are not necessarily exact Earth copies, and you want to see them as, like, main characters and shit, like, this movie has them for you, and even sort of has protogens in a way! If you think of the dredge because they're pure energy and kind of their like faceless mass type of thing, very kind of protogeny. Anywho, um, so moving on to the good and the bad. This movie is this movie was made in the golden era of mixing the 2D animation with 3D animation. The best examples of that are A, Titan AE, which is this one, Treasure Planet, which I think in terms of mixture and like I think that one even does it a little bit better. And then Titan, or not, sorry, Titan A, hello. Um, and then Atlantis. So it was such a beautiful time and awesome combining of animation styles. And then I don't think any of those three made enough money. And then Disney was like, ah, we're just gonna do all 3D all the time for everything forever. And then once we figure that out, we're not gonna have to do anything different in terms of animation styles, so all gonna look the same forever. Um, so we really missed out because people didn't see this enough. So. Watch this movie, if nothing else, for the watch hours, because it's that good. Um, but not just the animation. The overall story is excellent. I would say that it's a, it's it's not like Love, Death, and Robots level of like adult entertainment, but it is. It's not like as kid friendly as some of the other animation things of the era. Because like for example, there's a character who like you see the guy come up behind him and snap his neck and like literally the caption was like vertebrae snapping noise. So you see and hear the neck snap. And like yes the the person that got killed uh was you know not a human so maybe that's how they were able to get around the I think it might be a PG movie, but that's how they were able to to do things. But that's just something to keep in mind and you know people get blasted and it's not super gory, super bloody, but it is, it's not like, oh, hey, those people just fell. We don't know what happened to them. They could have survived type of Disney-esque things. You know what I'm talking about. It doesn't, it's, it's a bit more on the point than that, which I think adds to how awesome this movie was because it is for a slightly older crowd. Like I would say, teenagers would, would probably get a kick out of this um, if they give it a chance and enjoy animated movies. The other thing is that the music in this is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Uh, there were some really great sequences that, like, you get awesome visuals, but it was also a focus on the music at that point, and they just add to each other. So, yeah. And I think that pretty much all of this movie makes sense within its universe. Really, the only thing that I would say kind of stretches believability is there's this one point where one of our main characters gets captured, and then... Uh, they decide to jettison this person in, like, a life pod thing. I realistically think that the aliens would have just killed this person because it would be easier and cheaper, but how I like to explain it for in-universe is that they were going to sell this person because selling them to whatever slave colony they jettisoned this person to was going to make them more money, so, you know, waste not, want not type of thing. But really, really, I just, I think they, they would have just killed this person. So... But I'm glad that they didn't because I enjoyed the character and got to see more of the character. So, yeah. But overall, this movie has excellent runtime, fantastic pacing. Uh, they have they they use the CGI for this in a fantastic way. Um, ice, anybody? Ice? Huh? You'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah. And then the storyline, the character interaction, it's all very believable and it's fun and. I cannot tell you enough good things about this movie and how annoyed I am that so few people have seen this because it is so absolutely amazing. And if you've ever seen Atlantis or if you've ever seen Treasure Planet and you liked either of those, I don't know how you haven't seen this movie, Titan AE, but you need to see Titan AE because it is fan-fucking-tastic. Okay? So watch this movie. Two thumbs way up. Awesome. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you the next one.
Bye.